All right, going to be using the boy Reinhardt for our second time. I previously used him in a showcase and was super, super happy with how he showed off. Really hard to tell which one is better out of him and Echidna. I feel like a lot of people are on Team Reinhardt at this point, but one of his biggest issues is when he doesn't crit. When he crits, he has such a good crit damage multiplier. It is insane, the difference in damage. And with the Flood card, obviously, you're going to be getting some super good damage, but one way that you can fix his crit chance in Ungeared is to use the Red SR Slater, a day one unit, and the reason we'll be using Slater is due to his passive, decrease all enemies' crit resistance by the value of the hero's crit chance at the start of battle. Now, I suppose you could use this in geared PvP and give him more crit chance rolls, but at that point you're already losing enough CC to hit him. Being an SR character, all that kind of stuff, his cosmetics aren't really the greatest in the world either. His Generally a low CC character. If Netmarble would like to give some of these older characters CC buffs, all that kind of stuff, it would help out and change the meta, spice things up a lot, I feel. But generally, this team has quite low CC. That's also due to me having three level 90 characters. But quickly going over to the Reinhardt, having a look at his skills. The first card inflicts flood damage equal to 30% of the hero's max HP. His second card inflicts sever damage equal to 35% of the hero's max HP. They were both a single target. The ultimate here, we have two six. Excluding effects applied by the passive, randomly applies one of the following effects for the hero for one turn, those effects being 50% damage dealt increase, 25% all stats increase, one turn of evade, debuff immunity or immortality, inflicts damage equal to 33 or 23% I should say of the hero's max HP to all enemies. His passive randomly applies one of the following effects, which is pretty much the exact same effects. I'm not gonna go ahead and read all those again. Then the holy relic increases the hero's max HP by 6% and increases crit chance by 4% each time allies uses a skill limit up to 5 times. Having a look at his cosmetics, I've done a little bit of investment, I feel like I'm kinda low at this point, fully maxing out the Fest Sessorosa Nebula Zelgis did put me back on those, but this is the team we're gonna be using today, and let's dive in. And don't get me wrong, I'd absolutely love to out CC some people, but unless we're coming up against other barn teams, I highly, highly doubt that one's gonna happen. Let's see, does the Arthur here have Holy Relic? No, he doesn't. That could be huge for us. Do I want to go for Balm or do I want to go for... Hmm, definitely a hard pick. I mean, this disables everything other than attack skills. So if we put that on Arthur, surely that stops the Nameless Dance. And then we can start going ham on his... On his Reinhardt. I think I might go for the Sever card first. That way we get the increased crit chance for when we use the Flood card. Because that's going to be the card that ends up really doing a lot of damage. So yeah, guaranteed crits on all those. But this is the one that matters. And look at that. I mean, is that not impressive? Is that not insane? And we get the forfeit. That was not expecting that match to be over that quickly, but get another RCC here. Might have to go for the blue tree seeker melon, just due to the fact that man, those once he gets those attack disable debuffs out, we are not going to be able to do a thing. Let's put the nameless dance up on Arthur, and then we'll go for the same starting turn here. Slightly scared due to the fact we're type disadvantage. Although neither the charge card or Slater single target cards are really going to help out with the damage situation. And bros rocking evasion food. Oh god. Oh man, look at that. Yo, honestly, if we had gotten three for three out of the crits, I reckon we could have killed her in just one attack. That's wild. Holy. Mm, I mean, it's not like we can rush ultimates either because they're if they get lucky, they can have dissolve every turn and that'll completely screw us over. If I had gone for the triple attack, that would have... Technically, would have been me reading the evasion food, but I wouldn't say we really fell for that. I was going to go for that play regardless there. Yeah, is he going for three attacks in the first? I mean, don't get me wrong, it does put the ultimate disable, but it really cocks him over for attack disabling in other turns. Unless he can get super lucky and draw two melon cards once again. Not too sure about that play. Go for this. Let's do that on you. I'll do this to maximize card draw. The only reason we threw that card out on Rimuru is it'll stop the infect, whereas... I mean, I suppose the Echidna can also infect, but at least we're throwing it on one of them. I feel like the, uh, the Rimuru would have slightly stronger attack then Echidna also going to be throwing out that debuff. Uh, let's see. So yeah, no attack disables this turn, which is the main thing. If you're using that team, you really, really want to hold on to your true sick and Merlin cards, and you definitely don't want to put her on the end. Her getting the mergers is probably the worst thing you can have for the team. And I mean, we're tanking pretty well. Oh yeah, that one. That one a little worse. Let's see. Uh, back to our turn. Surely I can get rid of you. I definitely want that. That's really scary. Oh, Rimuru has a gold card as well. I go like this. Surely that's enough to get rid of him. Triple crit. 
I only got one. Oh my god, how could you do me like this? Okay, as long as we can get rid of Brimaru, that'll be fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, Blue Tree Seeker Merlin's still on the field. We can still easily lose this. Who's he got in the back play? Got the Ram? Yeah. Should be fine though. If anything, we want Ram to draw as many cards as possible. And only one Reinhardt card. Oh jeez, we're in a we're in a real bad spot. It's almost like using the barn team where you just get fodder all through your hand. At least some of the Slater cards are emerging, but could be better. And we've got another turn of attack disabled to sit through. Still going for the Arthur, even though he doesn't have Nameless Dance. Does he realize I'm gonna get the Holy Relic proc? That's if he doesn't die. Oh perfect. Sweet, he's straight back to full HP. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, let's see. Definitely gonna go for you, you, and no way I can really merge anything here. I might just go for that. Because if we end up getting another one of these, I can use the charge card, get those to merge, and that'll just save me more card draw for the turn after that. Oh, come on. Surely at least one Reinhardt card. And another turn of attack disable. I think I might skip us waiting through this next one, because oh my god. And screw that guy. Holy, what a, what a loser. Going second against a demon team. Probably not the greatest thing in the world, but we'll we'll see how we can do. That'll at least stop Chandler's counter, but in this first turn, we're gonna have to deal with it regardless. Um, hmm. I can imagine he's gonna use Dragon Claw as well. Putting the block effect on our Ryan would be really, really good. Go for darkness buffs. Ideally, we don't want him to get... Yeah, look at that. Hmm. And then the counter. That's right, we can kind of, we can stall out this first turn. He hasn't got a crazy amount of darkness on us, though. We should be fine. This is definitely going to be a hard matchup to win, though. Um, let's see. One, two. And I suppose I could chuck this out just to get rid of it. Does he have immunity by any chance? No, he doesn't. That's only with the green Asterosa. Okay, sweet. We'll throw out that one there. Just trying to get as many skill uses as well in this turn so that we end up do, or so that we when we throw out the Ryan cards, he actually has a bit more crit chance to try and kill, because, yeah, chances of us wiping at Estorosa here, not looking, not looking too hot. There we go, Arthur can take that one easy. Okay, sweet, now we've, <laughs> moment of truth, one, two, and three. Surely, if he, if he can just hit full crits, I have absolute faith that he can get rid of Estorosa here. Let's see it, though. This one, this one's pretty much guaranteed. Oh, actually, we might even be able to kill without full crits. Yeah, look at that. Estorosa down for the count. That removes all of the darkness effects, so we're instantly in a better spot. Reinhardt even got the immunity. Got two cards of his as well. I wonder who he's going to go for. Have, he can't use the Dragon Claw as well on us. That's where the passive is so OP, and we get the forfeit. And I'm starting to think maybe if we can hold out on his cards for the first turn, if we can use them in the second turn, we're going to have pretty much max passive, and we should be able to get a lot more value out of them. So... Let's see, I'll go Arthur, I'll stop you from taunting, and I suppose we'll just have to tank the Rimuru Infect cards or anything like that if he ends up throwing it out. I think we're a lot better off not having to deal with taunt. That way we can get rid of Rimuru the second we need to, and I mean, once Dan's got the taunt up, we don't really need to worry about Hijack Gotha. It's if Hijack Gotha gets the Holy Relic proc and Rimuru's still alive, that's when we're in trouble. Even though we have type advantage against Rimuru, that PS card will still rip shreds out of Arthur. Then I'm getting an extra card. Blocks level twos, so not like we had any mergers there anyways. And he tanks so well, even as a level 90, man. I'm so impressed with that unit. Perfect. Onto our side and watch watch the old king fall, man. I mean, I still absolutely love Rimuru, don't get me wrong. Look at that damn. Oh my god, we almost went up to the sever card. Go for hijack Gotha, triple crit. Oh my god, he is actually insane. This unit is so broken. If he hits the crits, he is nuts. <laughs> and we get more cards for this turn. Let's go. Let's watch him. <sighs> he can put up the... No, he still can't put up the taunt. He has to wait another turn. We can kill his Zeldris as well. That's oh, too good, man. Who knows? After this, he is looking way, way better than Ekin, and I mean it. One, two, and then I suppose we can get rid of that. I probably should have chucked out that one into DM, but we're fine the match anyways. What do we reckon? Triple crit, 200,000? Oh, nowhere near. Ouch. I'm kind of scared this video may end up a little bit short as well, so we might do an extra two matches on top of these here. 
Oh, now this is this is where we could be in a bit of trouble. Uh, he's definitely going for triple debuff. That puts so many darkness debuffs on us that even if we do get insanely lucky, get triple crit on the flood card, I don't know if we'll be able to. I don't know if we'll be able to kill Estherosa. Have to see. Maybe having something like a Ragnarok Barn in the back to increase our crit chance would be better here. Although having the HP does help out the Flood card when he does crit. Let's see it. Moment of truth. Oh my god, look at how well he tanks. Yeah. Hendrix and Mad OP for this thing. Watch him get a Holy Relic and be so busted. Oh, I mean, even with that though crit, I think we've still been just shy. But now we have all of these Assault Melee debuffs on us. Out. Yeah, that's the one thing. If I had slightly better CC, if I'd have gone first against this team, we would be in such a better position. Could have thrown this one out in Hendrickson. That would have stopped everything he was able to do. He would have been stuck to just using these two cards. All the cards of Assault Melee and Festerosa. Wow, he actually survived that. God damn, that's impressive for type disadvantage. Definitely not surviving that way. And I'm absolutely loving this team, so why not do the two matches anyways? Quite a long loading on time on this one, so I'm thinking it's a real player. In fact, we can still get the get the kill on him guaranteed. What is oh is this the immortality? Yo, let's go. Um let's see. I do I really don't, sorry, want to waste any cards, so I'll go for the charge just in case the evasion food's there. Yeah, would you look at that? Gotta to, got to get a little bit of VM in there. <laughs> Wipe is rumor. I mean, I am still very scared of what the Amelia can do, but ah, well, that's all right. She'll she'll freeze the Reinhardt. He was immortal this turn, anyways, so should be good. And Ram in the back, a trade of Melly. Oh, hold on, we may we may still be in trouble. I thought his DPS were all gone. Depending on, oh, I suppose it's ungeared, so you can't even build Echidna to more of a damage dealer kind of build. Let's see what he goes for. I can guarantee you, he's freezing either one of these two. If he just freezes the Reinhardt, we'll put up the Nameless Dance this turn. You won't be able to damage him next turn. We can finish the kill. Hopefully in the next turn as well, we get the damage increase or the all stats, because that's when we really need it. <clears throat> yeah, there's the... There's the Infect... Oh, was that the... That was the Sever. Real weird order to do things, and you definitely want to do the Dissolve first. That way you get the extra damage from the Holy Relic. Does he not have Holy Relic? I swear that's it. Yeah, he has Holy Relic. Maybe bro just doesn't know what he's doing. That's all right, though. Um, we will put that on you. And I suppose we'll put that on you as well. That'll stop the Freeze cards and the Dissolve from the Amelia. And then that'll stop the Infect cards from her. Look, I almost sealed his entire hand off Slater. You see, although he has age, units that have really good kits compared to stats do end up lasting a whole lot longer. Because, look, three months down the line, six months down the line, there's going to be a better damage dealer. Of course, that's how bloody power crate works but the only thing they can be better in is having better stats or better cards by that means but kits will something that or there'll be something that always stays around so giving units really good cards they should just put hp defense on them and they'll last so much better and if net mob was to maybe want to step off old units it could really revive a whole bunch of characters as well but we know what they're like they're not gonna they're not gonna do that um let's see i'd really like to finish you off with both of those but i have a feeling that you're not so i'll Keep focusing you. Oh man, type disadvantage. You're definitely killing with just those. I should have gone double sever into you. Ah well. Oh. Even Team Melly's almost dying off a single sever card. That is that is crazy. His single target card is sever, right? That's the triple crit chance? Yeah, of course. And we can see the ultimate effect here. I'd really like to get more dupes. I was. I'm so broke at the moment, so it's a bit hard to do another rotation on the banner, but man, for, for Reinhardt and Ekin, we got it. I just can't keep pulling Amelia dupes because she's already 6-6. Six, six. That'd be heartbreaking. we still got our immortality as well. Oh, I really want to see the ultimate. And our final opponent, another unknown team. I was surprised at how little of the unknown team I was seeing in geared PvP, but in ungeared, it seems to be all we're finding. Shuna as well. First time I've seen Shuna used along these two. I was really thinking of rocking this in one of my next videos, so either expect that or I'm thinking of maybe doing another Reinhard video, maybe trying to use him alongside Kyo or something like that. Although for some reason I have this gut feeling that he's going to be better with the SR Slater. Giving him that extra crit chance is so important. Attacking the Arthur whilst he hasn't got the Nameless Dance up real smart. 
and throwing that out after the debuff. See, look at that. If you go for Arthur first, as long as he doesn't proc the Holy Relic here and get really unlucky. Look at how low he is. Oh, is this the stat increase? Um, oh, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Hold on, let me out. Perfect. Uh, let's see. All stats increase 25%. For some reason, I really want to... Although we did get out CC, there's no way Bro's rocking evasion food. Let's go this. Get rid of Rimuru. That's all stats increase. I wonder if that'd be his sub stats as well. <laughs> He's so good. Holy man. I mean, sure, it says all stats. Surely it'd be all basic stats if it was just his attack, defense, and HP. Let me know if you guys are if you guys are still watching and you happen to know what that one's like. Because I probably could have just checked. Actually, that's something I should have done. That's that's my bad. I look like an idiot now. And we can finish off his Echidna this turn. Also, I had one of you guys saying that you weren't sure if you liked my pronunciation of Echidna. How is it supposed to be pronounced? Is it supposed to be Echidna? Because that's an animal, and I just didn't think that sounded right for her. So. And I heard other people calling her Echidna, so I kind of just rolled with it, but... Oh man, is that... Hold on, you, you can't be doing this, right? You cannot be doing this. Who has lower crit resistance? Oh, you can't even see that kind of stuff. Okay, so you can't see substats. Mm. That's alright, let's go. One, we will finish you off. And then I'm guessing Ram is, so we'll go for that there. She actually tanked that surprisingly well. This one should finish her off though. Perfect. And then level three. First time actually seeing this in a match, which is sick. And no crits? You've got to be kidding me, dude. What a oh, fluke that's so hard. I mean, we start the ultimate here, so I'll show off the ultimate and we'll wrap up the video with that. Surely you get a crit to we get the forfeit anyways. That just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Reinhardt is an absolute beast. I'm definitely going to have to start building his crit chance gear. I'm going to test it a little bit before I fully build it out because if there is a tiny bit of crit damage I can give him, definitely something I'm going to want to invest to. But once again, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the like button, subscribe. It really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.